All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today I want to quickly talk about those special five-year coins that we've all been collecting since the anniversary started and just quickly tell people, you know, what to buy with them, what the focus should be in the Baba shop and uh, which things to maybe stay away from because I have been getting a lot of questions about these coins recently and this video is obviously targeted towards newer players, towards beginners who haven't been playing for too long and I'm sure my veteran players out there probably already know what to do but you got to keep in mind that with these anniversaries and just hype celebrations in general with super hype units like this Gogeta and the Vegito there's always going to be a huge influx of new players into the game right so if that's you if you only recently started then hopefully this video can help you out a little bit okay so without further ado let's pop over to the bobber shop here and scroll over to the anniversary coin shop which is right over here and there's actually some really good stuff in here man stuff that you will definitely need as you progress through the game uh, regardless of whether you're a new player or a old player or somewhere in between and uh, some other stuff that like can be useful that but, but maybe might not be really worth your coins because i don't think we actually get enough coins to like clear out the entire shop so there definitely needs to be you know, a list of priorities, I guess. So starting with the first priority, in my opinion, you definitely should clear out all of these Grand Kai's here. Okay, the AGL ones, the Tech ones, the Int ones, the STR ones, and also the Fizz ones. All right, you can get five of each for a grand total of 25 Grand Kai's. And uh, that should be your first priority because no matter how long you've been playing the game, no matter if you're a free to play player, or a pay to play player or whatever you're always gonna need kai's at some point you're gonna run out of kai's and there's always units out there that don't have you know farmable super attacks that will need kai's to raise their super attack levels and at that point you're gonna be very upset if you had the option to get these kai's for free and you didn't take it so definitely get these kai's as quickly as possible and then from there i'll be honest man all these units right here right these like ssrs you can see um they're not the most useful man they're not the best units i mean some of them are okay some of them are definitely usable you don't really need these guys for running events or anything like that but what i would tell people is to definitely pick up at least one copy of this bad man vegeta right here this uh phase final form frieza as well as this AGL final form or perfect cell and the reason I say these three I highlight these three guys is because before the anniversary started these three were actually um, JP exclusive or exclusive to the Japanese version of the game and the reason for that is because uh, they were part of these like past global versus JP campaigns where the winner of the campaign would get one unit and the loser would get the other unit and these three were the ones that JP got that global players could never get and now that they've been added to the shop if you guys are any type of collector like you care about you know having as complete of a collection of cards in the game as possible which i think most people are i feel like most people do have kind of that collector's mentality like i do and want to complete their box as much as possible right like obviously some things you just can't get from the jp side it's just impossible but now that we have the option of getting these guys i know they're a little bit pricey 30 coins each is kind of expensive but i think it's worth it just to complete your collection as much as possible and like i said man they're not that good like this freeze this uh, vegeta especially gives gets key plus three and attack great chance of attack plus 77 percent so it's not even guaranteed he gets that boost so he's not the most useful he's not the best unit but just for you know collection purposes once again i would pick him up for sure and then the uh frieza and the cell are actually not bad and if you're like really really new and you don't have better versions of these guys then they're not terrible right like attack and defense plus 33 percent and then attack and defense plus 33 percent when attacking and then key plus three and attack and defense plus 33 percent for three turns after receiving an attack so you know for like a free to play unit like this he can actually probably you can actually do some like decent damage and he gets some like decent defense so he's not terrible his links are not terrible either and uh, the frieza is okay as well he gets key plus three attack and defense plus 77 percent 
when HP is 77% or below. So not as good as the Cell for sure, the Cell is way better. But like I said, if you're super new, maybe these guys are kind of usable. Okay, you know what, the Freeze is not that usable, but the Cell definitely is. So <laughs> those are the units I would probably focus on first. And then if you want the other guys, um, you can pick them up, but you know they're not going to help you too much as far as your Dokkan progression goes. And let's move on to a few other things that are actually considered kind of useful in my opinion. And there's the Supreme Kai Medals and the Elder Kai Medals. These two are always going to be, you know, used for Z, Z Awakening units. So um, in the beginning, when you're like first starting out, they're actually pretty hard to get. I mean, now I have 115 of these and 116 of these. So you do get them over time. But I remember when I first started the game, I was constantly constantly running out of these guys so i would pick them up if i was a new player and i would pick up these incredible hourglasses too not as much of a priority for new players once again because you're not probably reversing units a ton but in the future when you pull dupes of units you need to reverse them with the reversal medals and i'm constantly like constantly running out of them so if you have some leftover coins i would pick these up as well and then from there it's really up to you you know it's really your prerogative if you want to pick up some Orbs, you can, but you know, if you want to buy all of them, it gets really expensive. You can buy them 10 times for for 15 points each, and that's for the medium, small, and large orbs. But obviously, orbs can always be useful, but I wouldn't necessarily make this a priority. These would be like, this would be like what I would buy with my leftover coins. And uh, gravity chambers as well, these two times gravity chambers, really good, but at the same time, you can farm them pretty easily with the, uh, through the future trunks and Gohan event. And these Platinum Turtle Shells, great training items. But you can also farm training items pretty easily. And uh, you can get these Platinum Turtle Shells by just doing the Roshi event daily. And what else do we have here? Hercule Statues. You can get the Hercule Statues just by doing Friend Summons if you're low on Zenny. So I don't really think you need to buy them here with the coins because they are going to be somewhat limited, right? And also, of course, support items. These are great support items. You know, some of the best support items in the game. Um, Ghost Usher and Whis especially, super, super good. But you can get them from the, well, from various story events and also from the uh, Genius Bulma's Battle Prep event whenever that comes around. So I wouldn't necessarily buy them here either because, you know, you don't have infinite coins. So I think that's pretty much the video, guys. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't buy Senzu Beans. Alright, I definitely would not buy Senzu Beans, that's one thing I'd definitely say stay away from, but in general I would say stay away from these support items because um, you just don't need to buy them here, and the focus number one would be Kai's, number two would be those exclusive, um, or formerly exclusive to JAP uh, units, and then from there I would pick up the uh, Hourglasses, and then the Elder Kai and Supreme Kai medals, and probably some orbs if you need them but you don't have to i mean especially with uh, the anniversary right now where we can get all the orb stages you know during the weekends twice so you can get a good amount of orbs just by doing that um and then for the rest of the units if you guys are collectors you can pick them up for just collection purposes but they will be back with the next anniversary so if you want to wait a little bit you can also pick them up for like you know the sixth year or the seventh year or whatever but uh, that's it guys that's just a quick video I wanted to record to answer the questions of a lot of people that have been asking a lot of the newer players that recently joined the game. I know if you guys have been playing for a while, this is probably a useless video for you, but you know, not every video has to be for uh, veteran players or older players, right? So hope you guys understand that. And that is all I gotta say. Yeah, honestly, like these, this Super Saiyan 4 Goku and this Super Saiyan 3 Goku, they're also pretty good. Um, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku is like a very decent like starter support. He gives key plus 2 and attack plus 20% for all allies, which is not bad, but you know, there's definitely way better supports out there. And uh, yeah, this Goku is from the one year and he, give, he gives or he gets key plus 2 when HP is 50% or above. And yeah, I just, I just, I mean, if you are planning to use these guys, like I would, I just wouldn't. But, uh, you know, if these Super Saiyan, the Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4, as well as um, the, hmm, yeah, as well as the Perfect Cell and also the Hercule can be okay. 
but they're still not awesome. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind as you're you know, deciding if you want to buy any of these units. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I got to say. Hopefully this video was helpful to some people out there who were just curious, who were a little bit confused about what to do with their um, coins. How did I forget that the word for what these things are? The coins, the anniversary coins. And uh, we will be getting quite a bit more over the course of the anniversary, so we don't have to worry too much about like not having enough right now. But yeah, that's all I gotta say guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys en enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something along the way. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.